I can't wait to marry you. I love you. These are the hands of your partner, young and strong and full of love. Holding your hands as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will hold you and comfort you in grief and uncertainty. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and joy. These are the hands that will hold your family as one. These are the hands that will give you strength. And these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. In a house on a lake, a conversation frozen time. Permission from your father to be mine Your heart is sold in the stone of the Camelot I came to search it out Almost 14 years ago, he was with my brother. He used to work with my dad and my brother. One day she brought them lunch at work. And I didn't even know who she was. And she was just walking up the job site and there's a bunch of men, you know. Like, whoa, who's that girl? <laughs> and I just happened to be around her dad. <laughs> and I'm like, you see that girl? <laughs> He's like, that's my daughter, son. <laughs> and he was at my house one time. I offered him a cheesecake, or a cheese stick. So I always say she was the one trying to flirt with me. Cause she was cooking me food while I was passed out. Hey, yeah. <laughs> And after that, he just kept talking to my dad about me, and then... I just picked at it every day at work, pushing it. And I'm like, so what about your daughter? Tell me about her. Let me meet your daughter. We started talking, and then we just were kind of inseparable from there. Mallory's uh, beautiful inside and out. She really is. She honestly brings out a part of me that I don't because of our upbringing and kind of who we are. And she brings that back. He doesn't think of himself when he's with me. He thinks of everyone else and he puts a lot of my thoughts, needs before his own. He's just my person, and he's the one that helps me with a lot of things through life, and I wouldn't want anybody else but him. I know. You have to stop that. I did say that I was not going to do that. But. Okay. You look really good, Dad. <laughs> There's some pretty women here, but not like but no. You're doing good. <laughs> Love you. See Ruby's dress? <laughs> yeah, the tie kidding. looks good and everything. You sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Feel how pretty you are. <laughs> I didn't really. That's okay. Finish? Did I you write anything? No. So you'll just hear me, and then you say what you say. Oh gosh. Oh boy, babe. I never thought that offering you a cheese stick would lead me to so many great things. 
You have basically been a part of all of my adulthood. And without you, I don't know where I would be. When I ask myself what it means to love someone, my best response is what I've seen in you. I see the determination and will to keep going. I see the endless long days and sacrifices made to provide our happiness. You make me a better person, Mallory. And you keep talking about how much, uh, how much I'm here for you and how better of a life and person I make you. And it's not true. It's not. It's full of stress and anxiety and work and just my grind to try to be a provider and build this life together. And uh, you're the balance that, you know, you provide all that love. But I do promise to love you for the rest of my days. I promise to be there for you and help you when you need a hand, and I promise to love you. And uh, I promise to slow down and try to pause myself and my mind to listen to you, to allow you to be who you are, to <laughs> make me who I am and better. I promise to do that and continue to support you and be honest and faithful to you and build in our relationship, in our life, and try to balance our life as we grow and learn what life is and what's important to us. I think we'll be just fine. Keep doing what we're doing. I can't wait to marry you. Do you, Jesse, promise to love Mallory and respect her, to share your life and your dreams, to build with her a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment, and growth? I do. Mallory, do you promise to be a companion to Jesse in all his successes and failures, his happiness and sadness, to always give him your unwavering support, and above all else, the freedom to be himself? I do. It is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Mr. and Mrs. Size. I couldn't be more pleased that you two stuck it out and you're gonna go the distance. Hey, I wanna surprise Mallory. I wanna buy her this dog. And you finally asked her to marry her. I thought it was never gonna come. <laughs> and a little after Kansas City, I said, uh, hey, how, how soon are we getting there? He said, I'll get the map out when we get close, but it's coming up soon. Hour later, he says, it's in Arkansas. <laughs> but I knew if I told you that, you wouldn't wanna come with me. So, 16 hours later, she got to meet MJ. So, uh, I remember thinking to myself, she better be worth it. <laughs> Turns out she was. Turns out she was, so. And all these beautiful women here, I can't believe all the beautiful women, but the biggest one, the most beautiful one, is right there, my daughter. They have always been the couple you can call when you know you need a few laughs. I'll never forget when Jesse went out of his way to make me happy, jumping in a freaking tree during the fair, getting arrested. I <laughs> literally went to jail overnight. I <laughs> all to just make me laugh, and I know that, that he does that for Mally all the time. Like, anything she wants, he'll just make her laugh. I just want you to know that this thing happened at exactly the perfect time. You uh, you guys think you may be waited too later, but things happen just on time now they're supposed to be, and it's here now, you guys got it. It's, congratulations. Nothing's perfect, and the journey getting here was far from perfect and easy, and the van rides were probably the only perfect thing to happen, but. <laughs> uh, that just showed you. What stays in the van? What happens in the van stays in the van. <laughs> Yeah.
we put this much planning into it is for this. Exactly this. And it worked. Enjoying yourselves even though we've been busy and laughing and talking and doing activities. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's absolutely everything that we wanted. It's a dream.